Okay, these last two problems, 12 and 13, this is a chance for you to practice using parentheses in tricky situations. So what I'd suggest is trying to do these both on your own first and then watch these videos only if you're not able to get it to work or to double check yourself. But I'll go ahead and start with 12 right now. All right, access. What am I doing? Create, query design. Okay. So we want to select uh, first name, last name, salary, performance, location, city, uh, a lot of stuff. That's going to require the employee table, the, uh, let's see, I don't think we need position, do we? Am I missing anything? Find employees who make more than 20, but no more than 80, who have a good performance rating, as well as anyone who works in the Miami office. Display this. Yeah, so I don't think we need position, actually. Employee location, where employee dot location. Oops. Okay, so here's where it gets a little bit trickier. We're, we have to join them, but we're going to need a bunch of ands. So the way I interpret this is we want employees, any employees, no matter where they work, who make between 20 and 80 and have a good performance rating no matter where they work, and then as well as everybody in the Miami office, regardless of this criteria up here. So that's how I interpret that. So let's work on this one. We're going to say and. Let's just start by throwing each of the criteria in there. Um, I like the between, so let's use that. And salary between, and this will include 20,000 and 80,000 and um, performance equals good. It's text, so put it in double quotes. And then, as well as anyone who works in Miami. So, location city equals Miami. All right, order by salary. So this is typically what I see on exams. So in this class that I teach this for, I get a lot of students who put this in there and submit this for their question and they get it wrong. Why? You run this thing and here's what it gives you. And we ran into this earlier. If you've been watching all the videos, hopefully you're starting to get familiar with this by now. So look, we've got lots of names listed multiple times. Uh, clearly we don't have 25 people who work in Miami, but we've got 25 listed. So the problem is this back here it's saying all of these criteria right here have to be true and it'll return those results these are the accurate ones that it's giving us um, this is everybody anybody not listed in miami is probably accurate so here's william martin who's good like we asked for and makes between 20 and 80. james johnson between 20 and 80 good chicago those are all the accurate ones it's all these miamis that are wrong because what's happening is it's saying this or right here says Ignore all those, saying either all of these have to be true or just this has to be true. So they don't have to be good. They don't have to be between 20 and 80. Well, that's right, but it's also saying you don't have to join the, the tables. And so because it doesn't know how to join the tables when it processes this criteria, it takes every employee and matches them up with Miami because it can't figure it out. So what we need to do is say this always happens no matter what this has to be true for every result and then either these three or two conditions have to be true or this one condition has to be true so the way we do that as we stick some parentheses after uh after the join's done so right here the after that and that finishes a join to the very end so it's saying now that no matter what this always has to be true and then either those two things have to be true or just this has to be true. So now the join's going to happen properly no matter what. And then we're going to get either those who are between 20 and 80 and are good or anyone who works in Miami regardless of their salary or performance, which is what the original statement intended. So we run that. Good. We have these goods here. 
between 20 and 80 for a variety of cities, including Miami. Um, and then we have this one right here. See, this one in Miami happened to also be good, but we have Holly Holmes here who worked in Miami. Um, her salary did happen to be between 20 and 80, but she didn't meet the criteria of performance being good. But this is exactly what we wanted. Um, also down here, Bill didn't have any entry for performance, um, yet it returned him because he worked in Miami. Okay.